All right. Hi. My name is Dinus Mickle, and it's been a while since I've made a music instructional video. And um, over the last few months, I have really made some progress regarding my personal research into the underlying structure of music itself. Um, I'm going to uh, work with you right now, um, and I'm, I, you know, I just wanted to listen to a, a particular song that was coming into my head, and it's just, you know, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, and it's uh, uh, Free Fallen, right? And um, I was playing it, you know, I just looked it up on YouTube, and I realized that... It's a three chord song, right? So it's one. If we're, and, and I'm actually, and before I really go into this, what's gonna happen as a result of this video, I'm gonna spend maybe seven to 10 minutes with you, and I'm going to show you my note integer solfeggio system that I use for my magic, you know, it's, it's, it's the clock of tones and it's the magic hands of music. That I've taught before online. And the thing is that what I would like to convey to you is to under no circumstances underestimate the power that you can gain as a musician when you begin working with the tones the way that I'm going to describe. Because we're going to use this single syllable note integer solfeggio syllabification and then we're just going to start transposing this very simple piece that is however also a very very powerful piece and a very very genuine piece and essentially I mean let's say you're female and and you know and and, and it just doesn't work for you very well in F major um, you know it might work for you well in D flat major now, transposing a song like this isn't actually that complicated, even from traditional music theoretical methods. And I urge you to understand how to do it. Um, but what we're going to do is we're just going to connect with this Tom Petty piece. I'm going to show you what's going on in F major. And we're going to use this single syllable note integer solfeggio syllabification system it's a lot of words but what it comes down to is C is O right C major we're going to be going in an F major, but C major is O two four five seven nine level oh, 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 five four two O. Oh. I also really like saying fa fo two O, oh, right? So instead of saying five, I say fa because it actually is fa. It's F. And fo, fa, fo, I say fo for E, which is me, right? I say fo. Two, o. Okay, so if we're gonna go for Tom Petty, let's see about moving the camera while I'm skiing more of the keys instead of me. All right, so here we are. I'm gonna take it low. As a male singer, I like putting things, I like playing a little bit in the lower range, right? And we know it's That's just me singing nonsense syllables. But what happens when I go na na fa? Fa, fa, sem, 
three tones, how on earth hard is it to transpose? Let's go a step up. Call it F sharp major, call it G flat major, call it whatever you want, but go a half step up. If we were na sev, now it's going to be 10, 8. 10, 8, or sorry, ten, na, this is na sev, sorry, na 5. What am I saying here, right? I get excited, right? I mean, obviously you're going to make mistakes. You know, catch your own mistakes. I mean, there's a little... The universe is an interesting thing, right? This is 10, 6, 8. But then... Then I can say 10, 6, 6, 6, 8, 10, 10, 10, 6, 6, 6, 8. There it is. into G major. This, if the original started nine, this is if we're back into odd numbers, right? This will be lev set lev sev nine lev. close my eyes here and try to find another key maybe that what I didn't do before what's this okay and I'll go into E flat major to play this right and low then. to the end of the video to upload this to YouTube. I only have a minute and a half left to talk with you. Um, definitely learn your traditional music theory stuff. If I'm in E flat major and I'm saying, you know, I'm, this is supposed to be, this is one, this is the first, that's the Stufe, the first Stufe, the fourth Stufe, the first and then the fifth. So that's actually one, four, one, five, one, but when people are talking like that, be sure to understand that it's the first. It's the first scale degree, so, uh, the fourth scale degree, the first scale degree again, and then the fifth scale degree upon which a dominant seventh, or it's the um, it's the fifth scale degree, or the uh, the dominant leading to the tonic. Learn your music theory to be able to move forward. However. Learn my single note, note, single note, note integer, solfeggio or solfe syllabification to get a razor sharp edge, a ray, just an absolute insight into the underlying grid work of what's going on harmonically and what's going on with the tones, and then begin to adjust those tones so that you can create music that's in tune. Music that's, that, that radiates this resonance of unbelievable beauty. Access it. Do it. Go for it. Thank you for your time and for your attention. Take care. <laughs>